A Turkish analyst says that the United States is plagued by persistent racism, which has deep roots in the American society. Slavery was a central issue at the founding of the United States and also in the constitutional debate. And actually it is well known that racism has its roots in early American history. This racism was legitimized in 1896 by the Supreme Court, which regarded the separation of people according to skin color as constitutional. And until today, this idea is so anchored in the minds of its white citizens that even equality laws have um, hardly been able to limit racial inequality in the country. In the 1960s, the civil rights movement achieved some progress. But, however, um, it soon became clear that legislation alone would not be enough to eradicate racism. Now, even more than 150 years after the end of slavery and more than 50 years after the civil rights movement, uh, racism still runs through almost all areas of life in the United States of America. All men are created equal. This sentence, which is in the Declaration of Independence, was a lie and is a lie today. We know white Americans are still richer, healthier and more privileged than black people. And so-called structural racism serves as a basis for America's white elite to maintain their power. Those who are born into the safe neighborhoods and the better schools, which in the United States are still predominantly white, of course they do not have to fear being discriminated against or killed because of the color of their skin. Blacks and people of color die disproportionately from the coronavirus and uh, also in general the access to health care is unequal in the United States and uh, especially African Americans are much more uninsured.